Hey guys, Smellin' Roses here, and welcome to another episode in the Wilderness Navigation Series. So this is episode five of my navigation series, yet we still have had no mention of a compass. The magnetic compass we know today has been around for well over a thousand years, but humans have successfully found their way around for much, much longer. In this video, I'll show you a couple of simple techniques uh, that you can use to orient your map by using the sun or the stars. So in order to orient this map correctly, I need to turn the map so that the directions on the map face the directions that we have here in the actual place where we are located. In other words, I want north on my map to be facing north in the place where I am standing. Humans have used the sun for thousands of years to orient themselves and to navigate. Now we all know that the sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. So at those times of day it's very easy to get oriented. Just remember that um, this is a rough guide only because as the seasons change the exact point where the sun rises and sets shifts. And this shift is more pronounced the closer you get to the poles. So as an example if you want to orient your map at sunrise the point where you actually see the sun cross the horizon will very likely not be exactly east, but it should be close enough for you to turn your map and get started. So most of my subscribers and viewers are in northern hemisphere countries, and if you are located in the northern hemisphere, another useful trick to remember is that a shadow of a vertical object will always point north at midday. Remember that midday does not mean 12 o'clock or noon. By midday I mean the time that is exactly halfway between sunrise and sunset for that particular day. So the exact midday time will change almost daily. And if you're a little before or after the time, then the shadow will be off slightly. So here at this location where I am currently, it's just before midday. Uh, midday is going to be coming up in a few minutes. And uh, just as an exercise, we're going to go out into a clearing here and uh, test the theory and see if our shadow points to north at midday. Remember that if you're a little before or after the exact time, your, uh, the shadow that you're testing could be off slightly, but again, it should get you close enough to get your uh, map oriented towards the north. And in case there is anybody out there from the southern hemisphere, you can also use this same technique. However, remember that in the southern hemisphere, at midday, shadows will point towards the south. Okay guys, so at midday, any shadow of a vertical object should be facing towards the north. You can use a tree, building, tower, any object. Uh, I like to just use my own shadow. Hopefully I'm standing vertical. Uh, if I'm not able to stand vertical, I probably have more things to worry about than, than which way is north. So anyway, here I am standing in a clear area and you can see my shadow is cast in front of me here and I'm gonna hold my compass out and we'll take a look and you can see hopefully you guys can see it in the video you can see that our compass is reading north and we are facing our shadow and remember that midday is not noon but halfway between sunrise and sunset for the particular day and location where you are of course in higher latitudes and in the summer the that time will be later in the day 
as you go closer to the equator or perhaps in winter months when the days are shorter then the midday time will come earlier in the day but this is an excellent technique to uh, know which way is north All right, guys, so we talked about some techniques for using the sun to find north and to orient your map. Now let's talk about using the stars. Now I wanted to take you guys out at night and uh, try to do this exercise in the field, but uh, my camera just doesn't have the capacity to uh, do good videos at night. So I've created this uh, very crude drawing that you can see here. and. If you are in the northern hemisphere and you're out at night on a clear night that you can see the stars, it's very easy to find north. You're going to want to look for Polaris or the North Star. It's a very bright star that is found directly over the North Pole of the Earth. Now Polaris is one of the stars found in the constellation Ursa Minor also known as the Little Dipper and it's very easy to find if you cannot spot Polaris or if you cannot find Ursa Minor uh, you want to look for the Big Dipper it's the constellation Ursa Major and I've drawn it out here there are some other stars in the constellation but what I've shown is is the stars that are commonly known as the Big Dipper all of these stars are very bright and it's one of the most easily recognizable constellations in the night sky in the northern hemisphere. Now I kind of messed up my drawing a little bit but basically these two stars that form the cup of the Big Dipper will actually point you directly towards Polaris or the North Star. And as we mentioned the North Star is directly over the North Pole. So once you locate Polaris and you're facing that star, you will be facing towards the North. And East will be on your right and West will be to your left. If you watch these stars for any amount of time, you will notice that these constellations and indeed all of the other stars in the sky will seem to rotate around Polaris. Polaris itself really never moves. It maintains its position towards the north in the night sky. Now if you are at very high latitudes on the earth, say you're up near the Arctic region, uh, in that case Polaris will be very high in the sky and it may be a bit difficult for you to tell uh, exactly which way it's it's facing and of course uh, as you get closer to the equator it will be lower in the sky and very close to the equator or south of the equator Polaris may be out of your sight it may be below the horizon let's say you find yourself in the southern hemisphere and you want to try to orient yourself using the stars there there is no star that is directly below the south pole of the earth but you can still find south by looking for another very easy to recognize constellation known as the southern cross it's found in the southern hemisphere and to me it looks more like a kite than a cross but anyway it's called the southern cross and Below the uh, constellation of the Southern Cross, you will find another constellation that involves these two bright stars, and we're going to call those the pointer stars. And what you will want to do is imagine in your mind a, a line going through the middle of the kite of the Southern Cross constellation, and another imaginary line splitting the two pointer stars, and the point where those two lines meet is directly over the South Pole. So that's how you can locate South if you're using the stars in the Southern Hemisphere. And as you're facing South, of course, the West will be towards your right and East will be towards your left. So when you're out at night, another useful tool to have is perhaps a star chart or a map of the night sky. You can see this uh, small example I have here. 
a map of the night sky and basically how it works is I don't know if you can see it well because it's dark but you depending on the time of the day and the day and month of the year you sort of turn the dial and then it'll show you which uh, constellations and stars are visible in the night sky. Now while this tool is designed primarily for stargazers, if you had this with you in the field, you certainly could use it to attempt to identify directions because you can see uh, north is labeled here and if you are able to identify the visible constellations per the date and time of night, you could certainly get oriented using this tool. Now of course the night sky will look different and the position of the stars will vary depending on your physical location on the Earth. You'll notice that this particular star chart is for 30 to 40 degrees north latitude. That covers the area where I am located. But you'll want to make sure that your chart is designed for use at the latitude where you are. Hiking at night can be a very exciting and rewarding experience and I'm going to talk about night hiking in more detail later on in the series. However, you should remember that navigating at night is much more difficult and much more dangerous than it is in the daytime. You should not attempt to navigate at night unless you are highly experienced or you are very familiar with the area you are in or of course in case of necessity like an emergency situation. So guys, you may not want to rely on these techniques for orienting yourself when you are navigating out in the wilderness. You could have clouds or inclement weather that obscure your view of the stars or the sun. Also if you are deep in a forest for example, you may not have a place where you have a clear view of the sky. Also these days we have more modern techniques and equipment for determining direction and orienting ourselves. Nevertheless it's useful to know these techniques because it can be fun to practice them out in the field and you are participating in human traditions that go back thousands and thousands of years. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it informative. Please feel free to leave any feedback in the comments section down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the trail.